Hello and welcome back to Everyday Code. Today, I'll be showing you an investment simulator that I made for the TI-84 calculator. When I first made this program, I was very inexperienced. I used a lot of go-to commands to exit if-then statements, which is a big no-no in the coding community. First, let me show you the old program. The best investor section didn't work, and people could spend unlimited money. This program had no sophistication whatsoever. If you wanted to win, you would just invest in Bitcoin. Today's to-do list is on the screen. I will fix the spending exploit, remove the go-to commands, reduce the program size, add in probability, update the best investor section, add a continue game option, and add a live graph. First, I want to limit spending to the initial $10,000. If the number of stocks times the price of the stock exceeds the balance, the program will display insufficient funds. Using a while for this will also limit the amount of go-to commands that we'll need to use. For a text-heavy program, the file size is pretty large. I'll follow logical Joe's advice and remove the closing quotations on the display and pause commands. Clearing multiple variables can also be done on one line to save space. Next, I'm going to add in risk to make sure that this game isn't just a compound interest calculator. Every time an investment is purchased, there will be a percent chance that it loses half or doubles its yearly percent gain. This percentage differs from investment to investment because some investments are more volatile and infinite growth is really unrealistic. There will also be a chance that the entire market crashes. Instead of the best investor section, I will be adding the personal best section. This section will display the most money made over the course of the first five year period. Let's test out the market crash. After we click calculate total, we will see a live graph. The percent gain that we calculated earlier is not being carried over to the graph. And that is because I forgot to add 1 to the percent change to make it a percent increase. Last but not least, I'll be adding an option to continue the simulation. At first, I thought I would let the user choose how many turns to continue the simulation for. But that was just too much. Instead, the continue game option will add 5 years to the simulation. Let's put it all together. 
I'll buy some Bitcoin, some index funds, a few Bank of America stocks, and I'll put the rest into Litecoin. Now that looks epic. This program took forever to fix, so make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more calculator coding videos, make sure to subscribe. And as always, the download link and instructions are in the description. It's everyday code for everyday people, and I'll see you in the next video.